All right, all right. Today we'll ask the question, will the Nvidia earnings pump up stocks? So the first thing we'll look at is SPY. And the number one thing I want you to pay attention to on SPY is that we are bumping our head up against the previous all time high. And we do have a very powerful bull trend prices above all of these moving averages. And as you can see, this 20 daily moving average is about to cross back above the 50. So we have a lot of bullish momentum going into Nvidia earnings in the S&P 500. And we are very close to all time highs. And if we do get a bull breakout to an all time high, we are very very likely going to get a lot of liquidity out of everybody shorting the market because anytime a market breaks out to an all-time high, bears cover their short positions because there's infinite risk when things are breaking out to the upside. And that is also known as a blue skies breakout. Now I talked about this in great detail many times this year. If things are going higher, you have to be open to the idea they can go a lot higher. So I'm not putting any limits on how high things can go. If you go back to the late 1990s, stocks continued to go higher every single year. People said that the market was topping and it just kept going higher. So we're not playing that game. We're not trying to call any tops. And there is a very good chance if NVIDIA earnings is very good and they continue to raise guidance that we will see our market leader breaking out and that will push the indices higher. So if SPY breaks out, we need to break the top of that range at 565 and then I'll be looking for a target between 570 and about 581 with a nice sweet spot somewhere in the middle right around 574. Now, if we break down below the bottom of the range, that is going to be the bear breakdown below 556. And then in that case, we do need to get risk off immediately because it will look bearish and it will look like a breakdown that could go all the way down towards 545. So below 556, I think it's a no brainer to get risk off and wait to see where price finds support. But as you can tell, that is the least probable scenario still because we have the bull trend and during a bull trend, price is likely going to continue to go higher. So watch that support at 556. While we are above it, you can stay on this bull or you can just stay bull above 560 if you want a closer risk level. So pay attention to that. Nvidia earnings is without a doubt a market moving catalyst. So so that is something all eyes will be paying attention to tomorrow after the bell. And you will want to be correctly positioned before the bell closes because the earnings report after the bell tomorrow will likely be the catalyst to get things moving out of this range. On the NASDAQ 100 triple Qs, we were up 0.3% today and we did not break the bottom of the range at 473. And I told you below 473, it's okay to get risk off, but we did not break down below the bottom of the range just yet. And if we do, it will be completely fine to get risk off and below 473, we will be looking for at least 465. As you can tell, we are not near the previous all time high like we are in the S&P 500. So the NASDAQ 100 is relatively weaker than SPY. And that is fine in the short term because that can change very quickly after Nvidia earnings. We are either going to see the NASDAQ 100 leading the way lower or we are going to break out of the top of this range above 485 and start pushing to the previous all time high or at least the gap fill at 493. So the top of the range is 480. 85, the bottom of the range is 473. The bear breakdown is below support and then we're getting risk off. And the bull breakout is either the bounce off of this support or the break above the top of the range at 485. Remember, you can be bullish until we start breaking support or you can wait until we get the bull breakout, but you're getting the low risk entries, the lower you can buy down here near the bottom of the range. I also want to look at Bitcoin quickly. We did break the top of the range that I told you at 61,600 and above that we were looking for 65,000. We did get that direct hit of that price target and now we're pulling back down to retest the breakout and all I need to do now is just move these arrows over because we have the same exact range and we have the bull breakout. So as long as we can hold the bull breakout retest at 61,600, we could push back to the top of the range, but more than likely break the top of the range and then push to the next range higher at 68,000. So Bitcoin is looking bullish above 61,600. But as I've warned you, I do not like the fact that it cannot continue to close above the 200 daily moving average. So treat this as a very tight range between 61,600 and 65,000. And yes, you can stay bullish above 61,000. But do keep in mind below that we could start to move to the downside very quickly with another bearish rejection from the 200 daily moving average. All right, and then finally the main event, which is obviously Nvidia stock because this is what is going to move the market tomorrow after the bell with earnings. And I do like this setup going into earnings because we do have the bull breakout as long as we continue to close above 126. And we are now stuck in a range between 123 and 130. 
Now, this is going to happen quickly after the bell, and the only way you can play earnings is if you're already positioned before the earnings, or you are going to have to wait and react to the price action after the fact. So this is a tight range between 123 and 130. The bulls need to break 130, and then we should easily see a brand new all-time high in the 140s. But if we do break down below 123, then we'll be looking for a push lower towards 117. So it's up to you if you want to play earnings. I typically suggest not to play earnings because of the volatility, and it's basically a coin flip but if you are going to flip the coin weight it towards the bullish direction because we do have the bull breakout and the bull trend and price is above all the moving averages so with the bull trend the odds do favor the bulls so it's not quite a 50 50 but it is still a risky thing to do if you are trading earnings alone so watch nvidia tomorrow after the bell it should be exciting and it should be the catalyst to get us breaking out of these ranges that we see in the indices because without a doubt nvidia is the market leader and the market moving stock so jumping back over to the S&P 500, all eyes will be on Nvidia tomorrow after the bell. We are still stuck in ranges and we still have bullish momentum. So the odds still do favor the bulls and we're getting very close to a brand new all-time high in SPY. And at this point, you almost wonder, is the market just going to push to new all-time highs to get all of that liquidity from the bears having to cover their short position? So I wouldn't rule it out. It looks very probable right now. We have bullish momentum and we're pushing up towards the previous all-time high. So all we need to do is get a bullish gap up and the short squeeze will be begin. If we don't get the short squeeze and we break the bottom of the range, get risk off, no harm, no foul. There is nothing wrong with being bullish until we break support. Just remember to manage your risk if we do break support because things will likely get a little volatile as we see high volume panic selling. So until that day comes, it's bullish until it's not. There's nothing else that needs to be said. This is 100% objective. Let the price action do all the talking. Move like water, manage risk around the critical risk levels, and you will absolutely crush this market. If you want access to my trade ideas, my technical analysis, and my intraday updates that's in my discord server and you can find out how to join my discord server by clicking on the link in the description of this video so thank you for watching everybody i hope you're crushing this market and as always i will see you in the next episode